Hello. In this tutorial, I will going uh, to teach you how to uh, run or automate your packages using SQL Server agent job. So without going to your project and uh, run it like uh, manually, we will going to create a job that will run any one of these packages or we can select multiple in order to automate the, uh, automate, uh, the run job. Uh, so in order to do that, we have to go to the SSMS and go to the SQL Server agent. Make sure it's enabled. If it's not, you can come to the search right here, go to the services and uh, look for the SQL Server agent job and start it. So what I have here, and make sure, another point, make sure your project is deployed and which I have already um, a video posted to teach you guys how to um, deploy your uh, packages or your projects into integration services catalog in SSMS. I have here my folder and I have here this is my project and this is the packages that they are already built here what I'm gonna do is in order to do that to create the, uh, the job go to SQL, SQL Server agent and I have like multiple jobs so I need to create a new one here you need to name your job like let's say is uh, execute project one. If you want to add any description, you can do so. And here the owner, you can add it if you want, if you have a group. Uh, now this is in this step only like name. Here where you need to create the steps and you can add multiple steps and not only to run SIS packages you can use a T-SQL to run it for example I will say like truncate table I will truncate a table that I'm going to load it with data and use here the type is T-SQL and here I will say truncate table called bad data and in the next step I will teach you how to go to use the SIS here the database it's simple tag and in advance you need to go here in case of the success go to the next step sometimes go by default like quit but you have to select this step and on the failure, if you want to quit the job or if you want to go to the next step as well, press OK. And I need another step. Go to the new. Now I will say load load table with multiple files and now in this step I'm going to choose the SIS packages and this is by default it's selected the SQL server agent job and now I have to select the server name of course which is uh, mentioned it's right here it will take some time after you are selecting the server name here the package that you need to provide the path which is it's right here which package is you want to be run using this step I will go here to navigate my uh, package here go to the SISDB it's exactly the same path is right here and I have right here the integration services project I'll select which package will be run. Go to the load multiple packages. Here, 
in case of the success and everything is done I need you to quit and in case of the pillar I need you because this is the last step so if there is more steps you, you can go to the going to the next step all right press ok now go to the schedule here I want to schedule my uh, table my uh, package so the project I will name it like uh, let's say refresh table and the schedule type if you want to accurate it like or if you want it to uh, like accurate it like uh, constantly every Sunday or if you want it one time uh, occurrence or uh, this is what I'm gonna choose I need it to accurate every Sunday you can choose any day if you want this is if you want it to uh, occurrence if you want it like weekly daily I need it weekly every Sunday at 12 a.m. all right you can manipulate with the data of course with the date and if there is end date you can provide it right here if there is no end uh, you can select this option and you can add uh, any description this is description it's accurate by default press ok here if you want to add any alert uh, and here for the notification you can add an email if you have in case of the success of the failure and you can do that using the SMS of course uh, sorry the SIS in case of the failure of or success of the your packages you can create an email notification using the email transformation in uh, SIS where where is it it's right here okay so so far I have my project it's been done this is how you are schedule your uh, packages or your project uh, it's easy to edit if you want just like go to properties and this is the name and this is the steps the first step it will going to truncate my table and the next step it will going to use the SIS to load my table with multiple files and this way I uh, scheduled my uh, my project when and uh, uh, when it will be run and how many times in a week and if you want to add any notification press OK so this is how we are uh, schedule our projects or uh, packages using the SQL Server agent job thank you for watching and see you for next videos